On Crow Canyon Archaeological Center's trip to Burma, our small tour group stopped at Burma's ancient royal capital, Bagan. Before dawn, we met the pilots and crew of the balloon company. We watched the crew slowly inflate the hot air balloons, which would take us over the Bagan plain. When the balloons rose above their baskets, the pilots turned up the burners for liftoff. We climbed into the baskets and rose up and up into the mist. Our pilots could take us in any direction, by rising or descending, to find an air current to blow us where we wanted to go. Our scholars for the trip told us that nearly a thousand years ago at Bagan, kings of Burma built more than 4,400 temples of brick and other lasting materials. More than 2,000 temples remain. Other buildings Palaces, monasteries, shops, and homes also filled the plain of Bagan, but these were made of wood. All the wooden structures in this great city have decayed and disappeared. Only the temples remain. Conversion to Theravada Buddhism led to construction of thousands of Buddhist temples here between the years 1057 and 1287. Today, only foundations remain of some temples, while others still are massive structures and places of worship. Shui Sando Temple was built by King Anawatra to mark the center of his kingdom, the first Burmese empire. The most massive temple at Bagan is Damayangi, built by a king who seized the throne after killing his father. He is said to have executed his masons if a needle could be pushed between the bricks of the structure. Marco Polo came to Bagan and wrote of seeing great towers of gold and silver. The Ananda Temple has been gilded again. It's the best preserved of Bagan's temples. Inside, four enormous standing Buddhas greet tourists and the Buddhist faithful. In 1287, Bagan was overrun by the Mongol army of Kublai Khan. Under British colonial rule, occupation resumed. At the end of our spectacular hour flight, we slowly drifted down. Our balloons landed beside temples and local residents. The crew wrapped up the balloons while our pilots treated us to breakfast. After breakfast, the scholars for our trip took our small group inside the marvelous temples we had seen from above, where we saw equally beautiful and ancient Burmese art, the monumental sculpture, and centuries-old paintings. Come with Crow Canyon to Burma and see them.